I've been going to South Hills for about 20 years now. We knew that was gonna be a part of our life forever because it was instilled in us, but also what we grew to love and know. I've been volunteering on the worship team. It's been about five years now. And within those five years, I just decided to accept the challenge of giving. On Sundays, you hear about giving back and just anywhere that you're comfortable with, find your spot, you know, and do that. And I just felt this conviction, like, just do it. You feel it in your heart to do it, so do it. Even to this day, I get the most butterflies inside my stomach. It's like, I don't feel confident until I'm actually worshiping. It's almost like a fearlessness because I'm not, I'm not worried about what anybody's thinking. I'm just worshiping. God's my maker. He's the one that does everything in the background for me that makes all the wheels turn. And he keeps me going when I feel like I can't go anymore. So why would I not want to give back to him and to give back to the church and just keep everything, you know, flowing in a circle and help what I can. So I think it's definitely something that's a choice that I made that now I'm sticking to and becomes easy because now it's your routine. For the longest time, I didn't tithe even consistently because being a single mom, I was just so afraid that if I give even this $50, that means that I'm probably not gonna be able to spend that 50 on groceries. Growing up, it was like, oh, 10%, 10%, 10%. And you know, it just trapped me like, oh my gosh, I can't do that. It was until I started hearing, if you can't give 10%, pick 8% that you can give and then work up to it. And I'm like, ding, <laughs> like, okay, let's do that then. What's important to know is that God is merciful and he's full of grace and love. God loves us for who we are because he made us who we are. It works and it's making a choice in your heart to make the decision to give, to make the decision to volunteer, wherever it is, you know? And once you start doing that and making a priority, it's crazy to see what God really does. You won't know for yourself unless you give it a try.